Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We just saved the kid. Now we're on our way out. We fought the technically the boss in here. I think I think that's technically the boss, right? No one's going to stop me. I took the kid. No one's going to stop me. Doesn't look like it. Okay, fair enough. Well, now we have to head all the way back to town. It's a little bit of a walk. I don't think we have any updates for our town. Obviously in here. We're here at the town. Let's go inside. Here at last. That was a risky move, but we made it back all right. Here, here. It's not like tis to go out on a limb like that. But we survived, and that's what counts. The Vestal. <clears throat> he must be exhausted. He's sound asleep. You did well to carry him on your back all this way, Tiz. You must be tired, too. I'm fine. More importantly, this boy may know of a way into the Temple of Fire! We should ask him now. Don't you agree, Agnes? Chill out, Barry. I do, if that is true. First, let's head to Commander Goodman's residence and give the boy a chance to rest. Yeah, I was like, y'all, chill out. I don't think the world's gonna die in one night. I do agree that probably waking him up is the best option, but is the best option the right option? Feel me? Alright, how's our... Okay, we're completely healed up, so we could probably just save and get on with our lives here. Now, I know this is maybe a little bit of a waste of money here, but I used all of my X potions last episode. I'm gonna buy one X potion just in case I need it. And that leaves me with a solid 35 peak. So I want to save. Let's head inside. Hegel, you're alive. Do you know this boy? His parents were part of our household guard. They lost their lives three years ago protecting my husband. We hadn't heard from Egel since then. To think that he had been forced to work in the mithril mine. Mrs. Goodman, could we ask you to look after Egel here for a while? We can't take him with us where we're going. Yes, of course. <clears throat> He's awake! Where am I? I... I, I have to, to hurry. Hurry... where? The Fire Vestal asked me to help. I have to go. Where is this? Where am I? Wait, Eagle! Fire Vestal's been dead for a while, so... He's got a case of the... Bonked his head. Eagle. Thank you for rescuing me, but I have to go back to the Mithril Mine. We've recaptured the mine from the Sword Bearers. You don't have to work there anymore. All your friends have been freed. I still have to go back. Go back where? Does this have something to do with the Fire Vestal, Ego? That's right. Did you meet her? No, I've never met her before, but I sometimes see her in my dreams. I really do. She always seems sad and tells me, go to the deepest tunnel. Lead the wind there. Ah, uh, the wind? The deepest tunnel? Does it lead somewhere? Yes. Who are you? She is the Wind Vestal. What? That means... This tunnel may lead into the Temple of Fire. Even in death, it seems the Fire Vestal is trying to fulfill her duty through Egil's dreams. I must see this done. I must. Egil, show me the way to this tunnel. Got it! Leave it to me! Wait! 
Eagles in no state to go anywhere. Hey! Why do you object, Tiff? Because it's dangerous. Tiz, how is Eagle? He's asleep at last. Idea is with him now. Anya and Eri are in a huff. We couldn't let Eagle take them into the mine. It's too dangerous. Hmm. You know, ever since we found Eagle, you've stopped having your nightmares, Tiz. Huh? Really? Probably reminds him of his little brother. Actually, if you take a look at the cutscene at the beginning of the game, he actually looks like his brother too. He has the same haircut. I'll leave Eagle in your capable hands. Understood. Be careful out there. Where is Eagle now? He's holed up in his room. He won't let anyone in. We can't take him with us. Even so. I've questioned him thoroughly about the location of this passageway. Let's set out then. Okay. Um, okay. Can we go to Eggle's room? No, it's probably locked. Okay, let's head out. Go back to the Mithril Mines then. And I'll probably need to start grinding the game a bit soon, because I think I'm a bit weak. But, we'll see. That, that salve fight was pretty hard, actually. Which was last episode, I guess. Sorry. It was a pretty hard fight. So I wonder if I'm underleveled here. Or maybe that was supposed to be like a fight we come back to, I don't know. But, that was a hard fight. Uh, what are you doing here? Okay, well, let's fight the people chasing him. We'll do some stomps. We'll do some furas. Let's do some. Uh, we'll just do some normal attacks with Anya's here. Oh, and with. Ring a bell, let's do some... Let's do some defaults, huh? Okay, it actually hurts kind of... Yeah, don't do that. It's kind of mean. There we go. Perfect. told you not to follow us <sighs> are you listening to me Eagle? but I'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through what you have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through you'd never be able to fit not in a million years you said nothing about this back at the house you tricked us I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing! Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that! Nope, I didn't. Well, we'll have to take Eggo with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. We can't do that! What if he gets hurt? No need to yell at Anya's Tiz! What are you so upset about? I... What do you propose then, Tiz? Will you make him go back by himself? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? 
Ego was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage he found. But... I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifices. Never! What are you saying, Eri? I don't want anyone to be sacrificed. I won't allow it! What then? You have been impossible lately, Tiz. You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late Fire Vestal, and me. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this! Do not interfere with my mission! H hey, both of you need to calm down! He... reminds me of my little brother who died. Till... What? When that chasm opened up, and Norende was swallowed by darkness, my little brother, about the same age as Eagle. He fell along with it, right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony, watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anyas cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. That's why I don't want to lead Egil into peril, even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And I promised Agnes that I'd stay at her side. To be there. To protect her. Tiz? Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Ego. Tiz will protect him. We all will. Right? <sighs> Please, let me go! I want to see the Fire Vestal's wishes carried out! You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Egil? Got it! Thanks! Uh... Um... Huh? What? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's move on. On we go. Airy versus Eagle. Eagle. Hey, Eagle, I'm talking to you. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Quit nagging me already. Nag, and this after you lied to me, you pipsqueak. I'm telling you, I never lied. You didn't ask, so I didn't mention it, that's all. Oh, I don't need to take that kind of back talk from you. And I'm a, I'm a lot bigger than you. You're the real pipsqueak. What was that? Nothing. I didn't say a word. Honestly, what kind of attitude is that? To a Christ fairy, no less. Agnes, are you hearing this? Eagle's being horrid. Agnes, please. Harry, he's a child. Please do not be so immature. Right? Right? Haha, <laughs> you heard her, Harry. Idea, ring a bell, tis. Somebody say something. Uh, hang in there, I guess. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and save. So we just... Oh, so I'm reading the bottom one there. What did it say? So, Eagle's coming along for the ride. Fine, now let's hurry to the Mithril mine. Right. Let's heal up. Let's go in. Be careful, okay? I will. I know this place like the back of my... <gasps> Whoa! What? <laughs> A big piece of mithril ore! This isn't the time for that, Eagle. You've got to stay with me, okay? Oh, come on! Finding this can mean the difference between eating or not, you know. It's a precious find! 
Let it go, Aegil. The war will be over soon. Then you won't have to worry about finding Mithril anymore. Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is what a cow come. Amazing! When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Oh. The poor kid's still stuck in the habit. Eagle's words. Whoa! Huh, are you alright? Yeah, sorry, just stumbled a bit. My eyes haven't really adjusted. All the more reason to be careful where you step. You know, when you think about it, the moon's way better than the sun. What makes you say that? The moon shines when it's dark out, so we can see at night. The sun only shines during the day when it's bright anyway. It's bright during the day because of the sun, silly. And did you know that the moon only shines because of the sun's light? What, really? The moon only shines because of the sun? Guess that makes sense. And it must be really grateful. Grateful? How so? Because whenever the sun is tired, the moon fills in for it while it rests. If you think about it that way, fair enough. Okay, let's go into the deep part of the mine. Okay, let's keep walking here. Again, can't the ones that the game, so we'll just wait for a while. Um, let's see. Okay, we're fine. Let's make sure to save before we do anything, though. Save. Bang. We're here! This is the place! There's a stone lever at the back of this narrow hole! Just a second! He wasn't kidding. Only Egil or Eri could fit down there. Okay, here I go! It opened! See? Whoa! I felt a blast of hot air! The Temple of Fire must be down here. Let us hurry. Let's go. Underflow. So more more caverns we gotta go through. This cave is the same as the one from my dreams. Fire Vestal told me the way to go. The Temple of Fire is... that way! Great! Way to go, Eagle! <laughs> I only know because the Fire Vestal told me. It's nothing special. I bet you're glad you brought me, though, right? Yes, yes. Let's get going. Okay. Let's see. Okay, rocks are blocking that way. Fair enough. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, they stop. Whoop. So we just have to wait until they're done and then we can cross. Right now I still have encounters off, by the way, so. Um. Ooh, ouch. Don't get burned. Ah, hot. Ouch, that's how a guy could get burned. Forget burned, a person could get get dead if not careful. Have a close look at the magma. It seems the ground is suddenly rising and falling in temperature. So as long as we time it right, we should be able to cross unharmed. Hmm, I don't know about that. Even if the magma cools, my heart still burns like a hundred. Look there, the ground is cooling off. Yeah, all right, awfully fast. It's almost room temperature now, we should be fine. Like a hundred. Come on, ring a bell quickly while it's just sputtering uselessly. Sputtering uselessly? Don't take it personally. Now let's go. Okay. 1000 PG. So yeah, like I said, I have the encounters off currently. But what I'll do is, I'll do this fight. And if it's too hard, turn them back on and I'll grind. But for now, I'm just going to leave them off. At least while I just go through this t uh, dungeon. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of walking right there. Okay, so we got down here. Any chests? Anything valuable? Okay, a bomb fragment. Okay, nothing over there. Let's see, anything down here? We also have to check out the other end, too. Okay, so this is where the blue chest is. 
can't get that. Again, we'll have to come back for those later in the game. I'm guessing this is probably the way up, or down, or wherever we need to actually go. It's not! Okay, it's just the chest. Well then, we made the right decision going in this direction. We'll go the other direction now. Right now we're in underflow 1F east. Okay, this is the way up. Two F East. Um, anything up here? Okay, we got gotta go this way. Yeah, let's just run around, make sure we get everything. Chest. Safety ring, what is that? What is the safety ring? No that nullifies death? I'm guessing it doesn't mean like dying. I think it's like the status effect death. If it nullified death, that would be absolutely crazy. It'd be like an immortal ring. Whoop. Are you getting tired, Eagle? Yeah. It's hot down here. Let's take a little break then. That okay with you, Agnes? Oh. Okay. Hey, Eagle. What will you do when the war ends? Hmm. I don't know. Isn't there anything you're passionate about? I'd like to go to military academy. Then I want to be a guardsman for the shield bearers. My mother and father died noble deaths protecting the top shield bearers. The soldiers of the shield bearers serve to protect the fire vestal. I want to shield people. Like my mother and father did. Is that so? But I guess I need to find a place to live before that. I have no home to go back to now. After my mother and father died, my grandfather took me in. He was really kind. But he got sick and died soon after. I had nowhere to go. And then I ran into some sword bearers who were rounding up orphans. They took me to the Mithril Mine. I see. You've done well to survive on your own. <laughs> I guess I have. Fair enough. Okay, so that's the way up. We don't want to go there just yet. We want to check out that other, uh, other leg of the cave here. Yeah, Eagle's Egil. Well, I, I, I always forget how they say his name, even though I just heard it. He's a cool character. I like the dynamic between him and Tiz. I was just Tiz is like, ah, I I guess I'd say Tiz is probably my favorite character so far. I know he's pretty generic. You know, he's that bland, you know, hero type. But in this game, I think he's ah, I like him. He's cool. But I mean, I love all of the characters. Obviously, I think you know. Ring a bell has his charm, Adia has her charm, Anyas has her own charm. Okay, let's go ahead and do some cures here. Get everyone nice and healed up. I'm glad there's no burn um, debuff in this game. Okay, I need to watch out for those. But I guess I'll just heal up anyway. Although I probably just shouldn't have healed up right then. Just wasted my MP. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's a lot. Did I go in the right direction on accident here? X potion. Um, I guess I'm just gonna check out this way real quick, just in case. Oh, can't go that way. Okay, fair enough. Can't go that way either. Okay, both of those are cut off. Then this way we go, then. Are you thirsty, Eagle? We should rest a bit. Yeah. Sorry. I have to keep my promise to the Fire Vestal. I don't want to run out of steam before then. You hold the Fire Vestal dear, don't you, Eagle? 
Your faith in crystallism is strong for such a young boy. Well, my mother and father were followers. I'm not sure what I believe in yet. The teachings of crystallism are a bit over my head. I don't really know what to make of them. Then why do you brave such perils? Because I made the Fire Vestal a promise. That's all. She always looked so sad in my dreams. <laughs> I just want to see her smile for a change. Oh. Fair enough. You absolutely love to see it. Okay. Bad, bad cave. So many little roundabouts. Okay. Chest here. Flame charm. That might be useful for whoever we fight next, maybe. Oh, there's a chest at the end of this one. That's where the ground fell beneath us. Another turbo ether. Yeah, that will become useful. The turbo ethers have been extremely useful so far in the game. You know, it's at the end of a dungeon when you're right out of MP. That's when they come in handy. Okay, I think this is probably the last portion of this cave here. Um, ooh. Can't go there. Alright, well then we go around instead then. Chest. Diamond staff. That goes to ring a bell, no? I think we should probably keep this, because his magic attack is not not it's kind of important. Like it's you know, he uses the the wind damage quite a bit, so it's kind it kind of is important to have that magic uh, stat up. Okay, that is cut off for us. Okay, then this way we go. And then hopefully we can... Ooh, okay, we can probably intervene with the other parts of the cave like this. Let's go this way. And we'll be able to get to the two chests that were blocked off for us. Fire hatchet. Now that could be good for Tiz. Fire hatchet. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so it's not really any better. Okay. Fair enough. Not any better. What about over here? Oh, this doesn't. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Cool. What about on this end? Anything? That is the way probably to the temple, so we won't go there just yet. I guess that would probably fall out from under me. Okay. Probably the last little portion of this cave. Gale bow. Okay, that's probably pretty good. It's probably pretty good if I had a ranger with me, but I don't. Currently... Just a knight, a monk, and a black and white mage. And soon, I think we'll have a shakeup of jobs. Maybe not th not that big of shakeup because I know once we get ninja, definitely using a couple ninjas here and there. Probably, I know for sure Agnes is going to become a ninja. That's like given at the moment. But I don't know. I actually do like Tiz on Knight. I think he saved me in a lot of battles, more than a lot of people think. But I also don't want to get rid of a white or, you know, black mage. Okay, a couple things are done here. Let's go ahead and stick some people in these. Stick ten in there. And then we'll go ahead and stick ten in there. Okay. Down the stairs. Oh, we should probably heal ourselves. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Once again, we'll use Tiz's magic. Because in battle, I don't use his cures because they're so small. Okay, this is a rock I can't get past. N Ooh. Rock I can't get past. 
I've seen this place before. We're almost at the Temple of Fire. I wonder if that crevice leads into the temple. The earthquakes are getting stronger. Watch your step. If you die here, Anyas, the world's last hope will perish with you. I know. Okay, then we just won't die then, huh? Don't fall. Hey, go! Oh no! I'll get him. <laughs> Not this time, bud. Hang in there. We'll get you up. Let me help too. No, it's too dangerous. I already told you, the world is doomed if you die here. Your life belongs to more than just you now. I know it's hard, but stay focused on your mission. They added extra animations for that one. I'll toss Eagle over to you. Get him out of here. I'm not going to let go. But we could both end up falling. Unacceptable. Oh, yes. Tis. We did it. Better get going, bud. The rocks are still falling. I cannot believe you would do such a crazy thing! You can thank your lucky stars you survived. One wrong step, and you all would have been toast! Well, she that saved them, so... for you, Anyas. Have you forgotten you are a crystal vessel? Hey! Are you even listening to me? Are you all right, Eagle? Yeah. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> you really gave us a scare. I could say the same of you. Huh? We all said we'd help Eagle, and yet you left in alone. <laughs> here it's just your face is covered in mud on yes what and where exactly did you think you were going on yes <laughs> that was a shock you picked a bad time to show you have no sense of direction <laughs> <laughs> the way Agnes caught both of you with those spindly arms of hers is a story I'll pass down to my grandchildren I didn't know you had it in you, Agnes. I've got eyes like a hawk, yet you kept it hidden all this time. It was just the adrenaline. I surprised even myself. So you acted without thinking whether you could pull it off? Crazy. Uh, yes. I'm just glad we're all safe and sound. Uh, Tiz and Adia. And ring a bell. I'm so sorry for saying such terrible things. Well, will you still stay at my side? Of course. Oh, not you, Eagle. <laughs> he took my line. <laughs> <laughs> Enough giggling! We have to hurry to the Temple of Fire! 
Come on! Time is running out! Let's go. Yeah, I think even the jobs that I gave everyone just fits them very, very well. I think Tiz is... You know, I tried to switch it up a bit. Um, you know, because you, I can tell you, 99% of games, Agnes is a white mage, Adia is some form of physical attacker, Ringabel is a magic user, and Tiz is, you know, another physical. But I think as a, the, a knight fits Tiz, Adia is usually physical, and I put her on a mage, but she's still, in the end, a physical attacker. Ringabel is, you know, still using magic, and Ad Agnes is the only one that's a little weird. Again, she's supposed to be weak, and I put her on a monk, which specifically just uses her strength. A little ironic, but I think it works out either way. Um, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and do a... But guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.